Scorpio, you need to know this right now for January the 23rd through January the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 23rd through January the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 23rd through January the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 23rd through January the 24th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Scorpio, Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produces because there is a fish in this cup. So, love messages and an apology. Now, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the page of cups for Scorpio. Scorpio, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Scorpio, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Scorpio, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Scorpio, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Scorpio, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Scorpio, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there is a third party. You got to make me change my mind. Mm. Give me one reason to stay here and I'll turn right back around. You can see me turning. So, Scorpio, listen, I, honey. <laughs> Someone may be coming in with some type of apology here, Scorpio, to reunite. Or some type of proposal here to have just cause to celebrate, Scorpio. I feel love in the air. Maybe it was some time that passed. It was all in divine timing. Someone could be apologizing for having had a third party here, Scorpio, wanting to change things here. I see love, love, love on this wheel. 
Scorpio, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Scorpio, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Tower. Goodness. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Scorpio, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being, re <laughs> something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, okay, so before and after, okay? Let's see. Now Scorpio, you can tell me before this that there was some type of shocking shakeup, shocking revelation, some type of truth and clarity coming out here, and there's a confrontation. You guys are having this communication concerning this confrontation. You may even have made a decision to use this sword to sever because of this shaking shock up, shaking, shocking shakeup here, yeah, Scorpio. But someone's trying to change things and reunite. However, Scorpio, this could be coming in and it catches you completely off guard here. And you're communicating with this person and maybe needing to make a decision on whether or not you want to accept because you still have unanswered questions. They need to set the record straight. Scorpio, you have the world. You may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Scorpio, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Scorpio. Clarify the world for Scorpio. Clarify the world for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is a fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Scorpio, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Very well could be some type of travel here, Scorpio. Both these cards speak of travel. Scorpio, you can tell me that a cycle closed out because you guys had this heated discussion or argument here, throwing fiery dots at one another. This came before. This came after. <laughs> Scorpio, you can tell me that a psych was closing out here because someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. That's the shocking revelation here, Scorpio, that they had a third party and they're trying to apologize for it. Scorpio, you have justice. 
Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra, but you could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Scorpio, let me tell you something about justice. <laughs> because you are the sign that executes justice. Okay? Scorpio, listen. You are the highest form of love, King of Cups over here. Scorpio, you are death. You end stuff. And have the ability to just start brand new. So that's Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end right there. Scorpio, your judgment, okay? Now, judgment is you are the judge, jury, and executor here, Scorpio. The thing is with you, Scorpio, when we're talking about ascendant Scorpios, they know to let karmic justice take action here. Okay, take place here. You you just don't engage. You already know they're going to get their karma. You know how karma works. You know that, you know, no one gets away with anything. You know, it's just a matter of time that they have to pay for what they've done. But some of the Scorpios who are not quite there yet, they have a stinger. <laughs> and they like to execute their own justice, Scorpio. So... Even if someone does you wrong, Scorpio, pray for them, wish them well. You know, just wish them well. Like, I, I really do. People who have done me wrong, I wish you well. I don't wish harm on you. I just want you to stay away from me. I want you to stay away from me because I'm loyal. I'm open. I'm transparent. I'm giving. I'm loving. I'm sharing. I'm, I, I, I'm not going to say I'm everything, but I'm... I'm mm -hmm. I'm everything that I would want someone to be for me, okay? I'm everything that I would want someone to be for me. I, I would hope that it, is a, it can be a reflection. They can see it and kind of reflect that back. But, you know, everyone is not of that caliber. You know what I mean? So, you know, someone posed a question like, okay, so if you're, you're upset with someone, what do you do? I don't do anything. I'm not the type of person that does things to people because I understand karma and I understand you weep exactly what you sow. But the thing of it is, the reason why people keep doing stuff because they're thinking they're getting away with it, but they're not. See, they don't understand that you end up, whatever you send out there, you will get back. Not in the same form, a different form, transform here, but you will get it back and you will see it in the life of your kids. You may be the kid, you know, your, your, their children's health, something going on in school with their children, something going on with the car, something going on with the bank account, and they never connect two and two together. Oh, I did this to Scorpio, and two weeks later, oh, um, I'm, I'm broke down on the side of the highway somewhere. They never connect the two. That's karma. You're going to get it back, and I understand karma, so I wish people well. I don't wish harm on them. You know, I can't say that I won't give a second chance because Scorpios are good with giving second chances, chance after chance after chance after chance. But some people never get it. And the thing of it is, Scorpio, if you stay around too long dealing with this particular person who is now receiving their karma, you will also hurt because of this karma that they're receiving because you're attached to them. You reap what you sow. You don't get away with nothing in this world, nothing in this life. You don't get away with it. You just do not connect the dots. And that's the problem. That's why I'm so hermit. That's why I'm so secluded because people know not what they do and they know not who they do it to. I know nobody's perfect. I'm not saying that I'm perfect at all, but I understand this concept. 
It's just like when you get with someone and they going through trouble and experiencing karma and all of a sudden your finances taking a hit, your health taking a hit. All this is going on with your children. And it's not because of something that you did. It's because you connected your person to someone who just who was just ignorant to the facts. They never connect the dots. They never connect the dots. I was having a conversation with this uh, pastor who was actually my friend. <laughs> He's actually my friend, 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 friend. And yeah, friend, just my friend, okay? So I'm having this conversation with him and he was like, you know, yes, you know, people are gonna pay for it in the next life. And I'm telling him nobody Nobody, I mean, you can read all you want to read, but they're paying for it right now. They just don't understand how they're paying for it. They don't recognize it when it comes to them. They don't recognize it because it's like dealing with their children or dealing with a job or, you know, not getting a raise or getting demoted or something going on with the car. They never connect the dots, but it's what you send out there is what you're going to get back. It's going to come to your door one way or the other. You're going to have to worry about your brother, your sister, your cousin, your mama, your children, your car, your finances, your job. You're going to have to worry about something based on something that you sent out there. And once you, once you understand that, you will protect your energy at all costs. Please don't disturb this groove is what I tell them. Don't disturb this groove because you, you don't. It takes time. It takes ascension, ascending, transmuting, raising your vibration, raising your frequency to understand these things. To be able to be at a place where you're high and you're getting a bird's eye view. Because people, they don't, they just, they're walking around aimlessly. Thoughts, words, and deeds. Thoughts, words, and deeds all day long, aimlessly, aimlessly is coming right back. And I don't want to be attached to someone who they're getting ready to receive their karma. Not when I'm doing the right thing. You don't even deserve, and it's not like, it's not like you're better than anyone else. It's not what I'm saying. It's just that you're just on a different frequency, a different vibe, and you can't vibe with just anybody. You can't let anybody in your space. And I'm just saying, all of this to say, let's cut this short. Scorpio, what kind of justice is this? What kind of justice is this? This is karmic justice or this is your own vigilante justice? And Scorpio, I'm telling you, don't do it. Tempted to do it, want to do it, don't do it. You will see it play out without you having to lift a finger. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and I will repay Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. I leave people alone. I tell my children all the time, leave them people alone. Leave them people alone. I leave people alone. People ask me, Tootie, why, why you don't go to parties? Why you don't hang out? Why you don't want to go to eat? Why, 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 why? Because I have to, if I go out and engage with people, I'm going to have to really engage with people. Thought, words, and deeds. Thoughts, words, and deeds. Have you ever had an experience where you and someone was talking about something and two days later it happened? You heard about it happening somewhere and somebody in your family? Thoughts, words, and deeds. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I got to protect me and my peace at all costs, man. Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, coworkers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys as a relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. Now you hurt, Scorpio. You, you're hurt. You're hurt. And all I can tell you is that they hurt you. And they may be coming in trying to right a wrong. Because I do see this here with an apology here. And wanting to reunite. But like I said, you still have to speak your peace. But Scorpio, like I told you. 
Don't let you be hurt. And you're executing your own <laughs> justice here. Your own vigilante justice because you're hurt. Just don't do it. Just let it be. It is what it is. It'll take care of itself in ways you know not of. His ways are higher than our ways. In ways you know not of, honey. Don't wish it upon him. Pray for him. Wish him well. It'll come back to him. Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. And this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So Scorpio, you could be weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Two of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Two of Pentacles. For Scorpio, that would be five of swords. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Scorpio, I feel like you're breaking up. You could be debating on whether or not to break up with this person or you're breaking up with them because they had a third party here, Scorpio. Like I said, you know, there could have been a confrontation and a breakup and we're closing out the cycle. We could have had an argument over them having a third party juggling here. But Scorpio, they're coming in to apologize, trying to change things here. And you're having to make a decision on whether or not you want to deal with this person or not going forward. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Scorpio. You guys, this is just additional messages here. Mm. Be the bigger person. Just be the bigger person for your own sake. Because once you make a move, then you're setting yourself up for some karma for making that move. So move. just don't move. Just be still. Peace be still. And let the Lord fight your battles for you. That's what you do. Because they cannot get away from it. They're going to have to pay for what they do. I'm telling you. Just, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> just let. Just say, Lord, please. Let me hear about it or know about it. That's all. Just let me hear about it or know about it. You know. Don't do anything. You don't have to move a finger. Nothing. You have to do nothing. This is what Scorpios need to learn, okay? Not saying you guys, not my tribe, but a lot of Scorpios who just don't know and it's just in them to do, you know? That's why I say it. Yeah, people do stuff to me and I just remove myself from them. They don't have to worry about me no more. I don't do anything. I'm not the one that does things to people. People do things to me and I just, just I sit back in the cut, child. I just sit back in the cut. Love affair, dirty little secret down low. Love affair, dirty little secret down low. What they did to you. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry with your pretty little head, Scorpio. Don't you worry about a thing. All things will be made fair, balanced, and just. Magnetic pull, unexplained, I'm sorry, magnetic, unexplainable pull, can't resist. Magnetic, unexplainable pull, can't resist. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, you need to know this right now for January the 23rd through January the 24th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.